The world was shocked by the massive eruption of the Yellowstone volcano, which was captured live on camera at the time. The Yellowstone supervolcano created a crater measuring 70 by 45 kilometers wide, along with geysers, hot springs that are under pressure and erupt at extremely hot temperatures. In addition, the eruption resulted in volcanic ash covering much of what is now the U.S. and lava gushing and flowing for miles. Magma, molten rock, is estimated to be between 4 kilometers and 47 kilometers below, with 489 cubic kilometers estimated to be close to the Earth's surface. Basalt magma is one type of magma that rises from the mantle below because of its density and mobility, and then there is the more explosive rhyolite melt, which is estimated to be 440 square kilometers thick and more stable. The United States Geological Survey recently noted that this was an estimated melt volume of one to four times greater than the eruption volume of the largest caldera forming eruptions in the past. But don't worry, these underground reservoirs are more distributed and not as full as scientists previously thought. There are separate areas where magma is stored throughout Yellowstone, rather than having one large reservoir.